Hey everybody, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. About a year or so ago, I wrote a Facebook post where I mentioned that I was unhiding all the people and pages that I had previously hidden. That I was unsanitizing my own newsfeed and unsiloing it. I've been contemplating that position recently. I'm still doing this, trying to expose myself to different viewpoints and trying to not dismiss viewpoints contrary to my own. However, I recognize that my ability to do this is because of the immense privilege I enjoy. I can do this because differing opinions will only ever affect me as opinions. They will never be a threat to my existence. Because I'm white and live in a predominantly white society, race-based commentary will never be a threat to me. And because I'm straight, and live in a predominantly straight society, commentary regarding sexual orientation will never be a threat to me. Because I'm cisgender and live in a predominantly cis society, gender-based commentary will never be a threat to me. Because I'm male and live in a society designed for males, sex-based commentary will never be a threat to me. Because I'm middle class, in a society designed for the middle and upper classes, class-based commentary will never be a threat to me. Because I'm Christian, in a predominantly Christian society, religious commentary will never be a threat to me. And because none of this will threaten my existence, I can afford to not turn my Facebook feed into a silo. Not everyone has that privilege. Commentary that affects me only as disagreement can affect others as a direct threat to their existence. Or I might get frustrated with someone arguing with me. Others might get anxious, worried, or scared. So while I can still keep my feed unrestricted, I realize not everyone can. And I need to not judge them for it. Thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up. And let me know in the comments below why. Please share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I look forward to talking to you again soon.